Hey guys, it's Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. Okay, the guys are working on some of the trees behind the solar, as you can see. I'm gonna walk closer so you can see what's going on here. They're going to top this tree and bring this down a little different than they did the other day. I wanted to share this with you. Here's my comfrey plant, growing very nicely. I'll do a video on that next. But he is climbing the tree. He's all geared up. Try to focus very heavily on safety and. Nobody ordered the tree with no limbs. <laughs> didn't order the tree with no limbs. He's limbing it now. And then, we'll, like I said, we'll bring the top down in a controlled fashion so that it doesn't take out the garden or the solar panels. And they're doing this. Uh, Today, because it's a smaller tree, because uh, there's a very, very large tree down at the cabin that needs to be removed in the same fashion. So this is a practice run on the technique used. So. He's got spurs on his boots that are helping him to dig into the tree, and he is roped off in a harness that he has his arms free. You can see that he has a chainsaw attached to him, to his harness. So there's a lot of gear there. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. There's no holding that one back. I don't think I'd enjoy doing that. This is, however, how we get really nice tree stands. Because he's courageous. Crazy. Here's a better angle of him cutting. You can see his harness and the saw and all the gear hanging down behind him there. As you can see, he is still at it. He is going to be limbing it way up high in order to be able to drop it so that the limbs that are on what's falling won't catch him and knock him off the tree. So he's got quite a ways to go here. In my opinion, it really takes a special person to do that. I'm not super excited about heights, but I don't mind being high up, like when we're in deer stands and stuff that are quite high. I don't mind that at all, and I don't mind, I wouldn't mind trying to climb that once the limbs are off. 
but it's quite something. I'm adventurous, but I think it's, it's just worse watching somebody else all the way up there. <laughs> Especially my man. How is that on the legs? Not too bad. Your feet get a little sore so you get used to it. Is that rough on your waist or your hips with that harness on or because it's around your legs it's not really a big deal? He's still moving along up this tree. You can really see it swaying now. Yeah, you're in all that garbage. Stanley, do that again. He just said to me one of the things that he doesn't like is the loose bark when you're digging your spurs in to the tree and there's loose bark. It's a little nerving that your uh, spurs could kick out. So. This is definitely something that you want to be really careful with in doing. He's been climbing in trees his whole life. getting there. He's knocking some of the bark off so that he can get a good dig into the tree. Right now he's securing himself. A bit more. Because when he saws the top of this tree off here, it's gonna fling the tree. So if you're not well secured or prepared or knowledgeable, it could throw you off the tree. So it's actually how many loggers back in the day lost their lives. Of course, they didn't have all this gear. What is that one for? Okay. He's basically like harnessing the tree with a pulley system on it.
attach it to another rope. Sorry I'm so shaky when I zoom it in it gets pretty shaky. I don't have a tripod, sorry. I don't know if you could hear him, but he says he has enough sap on him to tar a boat. Okay guys, red line's going up above the cut. There's a blue line underneath the cut with a pulley on it. He is well strapped to the tree, and now he is cutting this thing loose, and I'm trying Come fully this way. Success. So that was the success, but now they need to lower the piece down. Oh, come on. Right. There we go. So the intention of this then is to be able to lower it 
down and place it where you want it to go. I can breathe again now. You need a hand, Ben? Oh, it's hung up on that stump. I didn't see that. There we go. Blessing to have good help on the homestead. Ben was actually here in 2014 and helped us build the garden. You'll see videos of that coming soon because I have them but just have never gotten a chance to put them up. Nicely done, guys. It's nice when you have this knowledge because to bring these trees down when they're dead, sometimes you take chances that the inners are rotted and when you cut them and wedge them and you have them planned to go a certain direction, sometimes it doesn't work. And with our solar system right here, our panels, it's just not worth the risk. So knowing how to do this kind of stuff is really important. Or you can pay somebody to come do it, which we have a great friend, Andy, who does this for a living as well as Ryan who did do this for a living and um, you know there's people out there so if you are not this is not something you are willing to uh, take on there are arborists out there um, that will will do these things for you but uh, I feel really blessed to have a husband who does all this stuff and is fearless so very thankful and very thankful like I said to have good homestead uh, help and hands on the homestead that he's got another set of man hands the mountain boy was actually uh, Weed eating and taking care of our jungle. We've had some equipment struggles, so it's it's pretty wild and woolly out here So we're trying to get things caught up things have been pretty crazy this last couple weeks Are your feet stuck again? Yeah <laughs> A little bit ago, he was up there in one position for a while in the sap, and the tree just kind of sucks you in. These trees are really, really sappy, this type of tree. <laughs> he can't get his foot out again. 
it's stuck on the other side. Goodness. Get your foot out and then you won't be able to get your hands off the top. Huh? I said you'll get your foot out and then you won't be able to get your hands unstuck from the top. We'll have to come fetch you. Ben will have to come fetch you. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh my word. Are they both stuck or just the one? You got the one out, didn't you? Yeah, I got the one out. Can't get the other one out. Felling a tree also with the uh, limbs off is so much easier because the limbs are, ten, uh, are typically the thing that get caught up for you as that piece did coming down when it got caught on the garden. So it's, it's nice to be able to just drop the tree that's been limbed. This will go in our sawmill, produce some lumber for us. They are working on a uh, firewood shed down at the cabin. so. Imagine that's where this wood will go. So we'll continue to share this adventure with you because as you can see there are quite a few more trees here that need to come out here and over here there's some back in here. And there's more behind him there too so so we'll continue to share these videos with you okay he's now down I'm stuck in the tree and he's going to drop this tree right here back in there so he's making his cuts inserting wedges and selling that like I said, without limbs on the tree, it makes it so much nicer to get it where you want it to go. The limbs will get caught up on everything. important to be paying attention to your tree. Oh, man, mosquitoes come out in swarms. We are mosquito farmers this year. I'm going to try to zoom in here so you can see what he's doing over here. Get my wedges there in the back. See the red. It's being hanging in here. That wedge is maturing. The tree is going gonna, gonna to push the tree the direction he wants it to go. Okay. There it goes. Kaboom. Timber. That would get so cool if that would have hit directly on that stump and shattered the tree. <laughs> so it's down, it's accessible, and we will use this with our sawmill and uh, cut us some lumber. Ouch. This one. Yeah, so. Good deal. Job well done. One tree down. Another tree for the next day. <laughs> which one? That one? And yeah, which one are you doing next? Uh, well, that one there, I'll just take and drop it. Drop it right up there. That actually looks like pretty good firewood. The big one you were talking, or the other one you were talking about, is the one down at the cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big tree. But it leans with snow load over top of the cabin and you get really heavy winds, so it's gonna it's gonna go. Alright. Have any sentiments to add today? When you're up in the tree, don't fall. 
<laughs> there you have it. Mountain man wisdom. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video.